Hi, it's Jenny DiDonato with MadeFit TV. Are you stuck in a rut? Well, then work with me one-on-one -on -one online. Customize nutrition plans and workout programs designed specifically for you and your goals. Go to MadeFitOnline.com for details. Hey everyone, in this episode of Made Fit TV, I bring you the first of a five part series of how to finally figure out what goal is right for you and how to achieve it. Because everyone's different, we're going to get into that. And also, your Made Fit TV viewer email of the week. All right, let's get started. Hi, welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 113. Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment, and it's where fit bodies don't just happen, they're made. I love that. It's so true. You can make it. So welcome to the show. Um, this is episode 113. We are getting up in the numbers, and we wanted to try something different. I noticed that um, it's so easy to become overwhelmed by reaching a goal, setting a goal, reaching a goal, what to do, what to eat, how to train. It's so overwhelming. So what I want to do is give you guys a five-part series, starting with today, number one, of the five steps of how to achieve your fitness goals and the goals that are meant for you, how to achieve them easier, those secrets deep down inside that can get you to where you want to be. Now, everyone is different. Everyone's body is different. We are all made up differently. So there are different goals and different things that we can do to uh, reach our optimum fitness and health level. Okay, this is my number one tip that I'm going to give to you this week, and that is admire the goal, not the person. And what I mean by that is stop letting magazines tell you how you're supposed to look, okay? Stop looking at billboards, stop watching TV, looking at those commercials, and stop letting those things dictate how you should be living your life. Okay, we all know that we have to eat healthy. We all know that we have to be active because, let's face it, being overweight and being obese, it's an epidemic in this country, let alone in this world, okay? So you have to be healthy. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty of setting goals for yourself for the you know already healthy or already fit individual or even someone that just needs to lose a few pounds and get in shape, don't make your goal what they're telling you what they're telling you it to be. You know, I get a lot of emails of people saying on, on the cover of an oxygen magazine they want to look like that. And, and not everyone is meant to look that way. So figure out what is your goal and admire that goal. Admire the discipline. Admire the accomplishment to get to that goal, the drive. Don't envy the person. Admire the goal and go for the goal. That is my number one tip out of five on how to find your fitness goal that is meant for you. All right, now to the Made Fit TV viewer email of the week. Okay, this week's viewer email of the week comes from Elda from California, and she writes, Jenny, I wanted to know how we use the disc just like the BOSU, but this one is smaller. So she's meaning this one. I had a personal trainer before, and he used this a couple of times, but I wanted to know if you have any other exercises for this tool. I've used some of your workouts already and it shows a difference on my body and I'm finally seeing some changing. Your techniques are great and different from other exercises that people are using at the gym. Now, thank you so much, Elda. This is a great question because this piece of equipment is, um, it's fairly affordable, maybe, I don't know, about 20 bucks or so, but this is a balanced disc. And what you can do is you can increase the intensity of your workout. Uh, you can work your core, your balance, stability, overall posture, things like that. And you can kick up your training a notch by using something like this. You can use any movement that you're standing on, go ahead and stand on the disc. You can even do a single leg standing on the disc and you can even um, do push-ups uh, push off the disc and also doing some crunches. You can uh, put it right under your back or even sit on it and that will definitely kick up your workout a notch whether you're doing overhead presses, push-ups, cable back rows, you can use this for a lot of things. So be creative, go through your training program, and if you're standing, you can definitely put this right under your feet. Same thing if you're sitting, you can put it right under your butt and you can challenge your core and your overall uh, balance and stability 
and get it kicked up a notch so then you're challenging yourself a little bit more and not getting so bored. And I tell you what, it may feel a little uncomfortable at first. You may say, oh, I don't like this. You may have to lower the weight a little bit too, but work your way up, challenge your body because that's the only way that your body's going to be able to see those improvements. So thanks so much for that email. And if you guys want to have your email read on MadeFit TV, you can just email me right at Jenny at MadeFitTV.com or at the Ask Jenny link on the homepage of MadeFit TV. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, it's the first of five. I'm going to have five, uh, four more secrets for you you on how to find the goal that is right for you. You got to do you. You got to do you. That's what I'm saying, you guys. You have to make your body the best that it can be. So thank you so much for joining, and we will see you next week on Made for TV.